Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 28th of November 2015 and we are asking the question, will the solar industry or photovoltaics prove to be the saviour for silver's future? Yesterday the silver price closed at $14.10, some 10 cents up on the week but some 22 cents down on its week high, having entered into the late $13 during the course of the day. Technical analysts are predicting that silver is still in its bearish downtrend and may very well see $13.80 very shortly. Gold prices are also lower, closing on Friday at $1,050 some $20 down on the week. Any further downtrend will certainly put silver prices at risk of reaching new yearly lows, given their correlation to gold prices. There is no strong economic data due next week, save the US non-farm payrolls report, which is due on Friday the 4th of December. So, what is going to turn this silver downtrend around? Well, apart from any potential for global economic collapse or significant war event, which may result in silver prices rising on the back of gold demand, many commentators see that the future demand for solar panels could be the answer for silver's revival. Most listeners to this channel are aware that silver is an excellent conductor of electricity and heat, which makes it an essential input in the solar panel industry. Photovoltaics, or PVs, are what form the backbone of a solar panel, and these PVs use a fair amount of silver as a semiconductor. According to Thomas Reuters' Interim Silver Market Review, on the 17th of November 2015, demand for silver in photovoltaic cells is expected to increase by 17% this year alone. According to pureenergies.com, the following 12 countries had the highest installed capacity of solar PV power in 2014, and we quote it in this order. Germany, first, followed by China, Italy, Japan, United States, Spain, France, Australia, Belgium, United Kingdom, India, and the Czech Republic. Now it's China, the number two in the list, we wish to draw to your attention. According to Reuters on the 8th of October 2015, quote, China has raised its solar power installation target for 2015 by 30% from its previous goal, unquote. China installed 7.73 gigawatts capacity in the first six months of 2015, and according to the National Energy Administration, China will add another 5.3 gigawatts installed capacity of solar power stations this year, on top of an earlier national target of 17.8 gigawatts. Now this is the interesting part. On the 17th of November 2015, CNBC issued an article entitled How a Global Solar Drive will boost silver prices, and it quoted London-based Capital Economics, Simona Gambarini, who said, and we quote, while the solar industry just accounts for just 6% of overall physical demand now, global solar capacity is growing at an average rate of 53% a year in the last decade underscoring future growth potential. About 2.8 million ounces of silver are needed to generate one gigawatt 
of electrical capacity from solar energy. China is likely to account for about half of the growth in solar panel production in the next few years, she said. The country will also increase its installed solar capacity more than five times from 2014 to 2020. Unquote. Now, according to pureenergies.com, China produced 18.3 gigawatts of energy last year. And if we use this figure as the base, an increase of five times 18.3 equals 91.5 gigawatts. Having already mentioned that currently 2.8 million ounces of silver are necessary to produce each gigawatt, then we are looking by 2020 of a potential increased usage of some 205 million ounces of silver for China alone. With 2014 mine production standing at 844 million ounces and not expected to rise dramatically if, if at all for the next five years, this represents approximately 24% of likely mine supply. Now if one were to add to this the continuing demand for solar power from the other 11 countries already mentioned, plus increasing demand from emerging countries such as Brazil and Malaysia, coupled with the international community's efforts to promote the green agenda, one can see the potential for the price of silver to rise to be significant in years to come. Now, our words of caution or reality, just before you, our listeners, rush out and purchase as much silver as your bank accounts, oops, sorry, hidden stashes will allow, we ask you to consider five main points. One, silver is currently in a downtrend, which is envisaged to continue for a little while yet. Two, despite this potential growth, silver demand may be adversely affected by a reduction in demand from other sectors. Three, the level of silver used in solar panels have already been reduced in recent years and alternatives are being sought for by manufacturers. 4. Much of this growth mentioned is centred on China and one has to be confident that it can continue with its growth model to obtain the targets it has set itself. 5. There are other energy sources being pursued in addition to solar which include wind tidal and nuclear. In conclusion, we have frequently stated that we are very bullish about the prospects for silver long term. Undoubtedly, solar panel usage, in addition to other areas such as medical treatments and electronic gadgetry, will form an increasing attraction to this industrial and precious metal. Our view is that black swans apart, when we begin to see the world's economies improve, we shall witness the uptrend in silver prices, something we are confident each of our listeners are looking forward to. Whether this dramatic demand will happen within five years, we have our doubts, but our 10 to 20 year view remains as equally positive as it has always been. We hope you found this video helpful and informative and would appreciate it if you would give it a thumb up, comment and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Please also share this video on Twitter and follow us at Illuminati Silver One. Disclaimer. Silver Illuminati owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.